What's up, guys? I hope you all had a great day today. Um, I was back and forth on what I wanted to talk about in tonight's uh, vlog, um, and uh, basically came to the conclusion that the topic I wanted to talk about kind of throughout the whole day, um, I'm going to rest on it and uh, give it a little more time and either maybe talk about it tomorrow or the following day. And so I asked on my Facebook um, for you guys to give me some questions to answer in tonight's vlog. And so that's basically what I'm going to do. So tonight I'm just going to simply go through as many questions as I can um, and answer them. And then uh, tomorrow or the next day, um, I have a topic that um, I think is uh, it's very important to me, so um, we're going to talk about that. But I want to sleep on that a little more and not rush it. Um, I've been told by others that I rush into things sometimes a little too quickly, so I'm trying to take some advice and uh, not do that and sit on it for a little bit longer. Um, so yeah, I'm going to read through these questions. Uh, the pers One person, it's not, I don't think it's, I don't know, it might be a question on here, but... Uh, someone asked if my eyes are doing okay because I've been wearing glasses a lot. Uh, my eyes are fine. I need to actually go in and get um, an eye appointment to get new contacts. I've ran out of them. Uh, but I'm looking into getting LASIK done too. But LASIK would put me out of playing Frisbee for about a month. So I need to figure out what the perfect kind of window for that to happen. That's not right now. So uh, let me go through these questions and uh, we will end it on that. We'll see how far we can get here. Um, so Ellington asked, what age did you start playing Frisbee? I started playing Frisbee right around, I'm going to say 17, I would say. Uh, I didn't get serious into it until like 18 or 19. Josh asked, what muscles need to be worked to better play ultimate? Um, your legs, obviously, hamstring, calves, glutes, um, quads, all those things will help you run faster, jump higher. And then upper body, you know, you got your chest your shoulders, your, your triceps, um, biceps, uh, all those things are really going to help you throwing. Um, so pretty much, Frisbee pretty much, if you want to be uh, the best you can be, you need to have a strong overall body. Um, core is also really important too, obviously. Um, Sumner, Sumner, I think, catching Frisbees in mouth, yes or no? <laughs> I've tried it before, it's very difficult, so I'm going to say no to that. Um, Paul asked, pr best pregame meal, um, night before and day of. Normally when I wake up, I normally don't like to eat too much food right before. Uh, I, I try to maybe have a banana, some fruit, maybe some eggs, get some protein in there. Um, but I normally don't eat too much. I don't really know too much about nutrition as far as what's good and what's not. A lot of it has to do with your body and how your body reacts to certain foods. Some people, their body reacts differently. Um, so what might be best for me might not be best for you, Paul, but, uh, um, it's a good question. I, I, I don't know what the best pregame meal is, uh, but the day of, I try to eat, um, some fruit in the morning and some protein. And then throughout the day, I try to, you know, uh, get that protein back into my body over and over again with, you know, power bars or whatever it may be. Uh, Kyle asked, what does double wide mean? Um, Double wide, I think, is like a type of uh, like a house type of thing, um, a trailer almost, if you will. And uh, I guess it's known to be in Texas or something. I don't know. I guess it goes back further than I actually know. But that's kind of all I know about it. Um, Daniel, have I ever played slough frisbee? No, I have no idea what that is. Put in the comments what that is. I'd be interested in knowing what slough frisbee is. Um, Andrew, what is the best way to improve teamwork and plays in newly formed teams? What's the best way to improve teamwork? Uh, to, I'm just going to say to improve teamwork, the best thing that you can do is try to um, try to establish that the sideline is very important. In Frisbee, uh, we're able to run up and down the field and help our teammates out as much as possible. So if you have a team that people aren't being vocal on the sidelines or even vocal on the on the field itself, you know, run run some drills and stuff where if people don't talk on the sideline, if there's no one yelling up, if no one says mine or whatever, um, if there's not enough uh, communication going on on the field, then, um, you know, run some sprints or do something that way so people will start understanding how important communication and, and working together as a team is, is on a field. 
Um, Zach asks, how much adrenaline is pumping when you dive for a catch slash block? Uh, a lot. Um, it's one of those things where like you kind of know just a, before that you're going to do it. And, uh, you know, I think having all that adrenaline rush, it doesn't really hurt as bad when you hit the ground because sometimes you hit the ground hard. But yeah, when, when you see a Frisbee up in the air and like, you know, two, three seconds before you dive, you know, you're about to, your adrenaline is definitely pumping for sure. Jean, uh, Jean asked, do you still going to, are you still going to play for double wide this year? I don't know who I'm playing for yet this year. I haven't decided yet. So I, I'll keep you posted when I know. Um, Cassidy asks, how does college play differ from high school? Um, he has some other stuff. I'll answer that part. How does how does college play differ from high school? I didn't really play Frisbee in high school like competitively, so I don't really know. But I guess each level, you know, each level you're going to get more people on the team that can throw. The throws are going to be better. There's going to be more athletes that can run. So overall competition is going to get uh, higher. Um, but I think the biggest the biggest difference is, you know, from like college to club. College, there might be one player on every team that has good throws. Whereas when you get the club, most teams have, you know, two, three, four, five players that all have good throws. So it, it makes it much more dangerous to play against those type of teams. Cameron asks, when you come down to South Beach, oh, when you coming down to South Beach and definitely how to improve play in the wind. Uh, I don't know why I'm going to go down to Miami. It's a good question. I haven't been down there in some time, so maybe I'm due for a trip. Um, and the best way to improve play in the wind I guess you mean by your throws, I'm guessing, is what you're saying. I have a couple videos on on how to throw in the wind better. Uh, but real, I guess the real quick answer to that is spin. The more spin you can put on the disc, um, the, the better it's going to fly in the air um, in, in the wind because basically the wind's going to affect the Frisbee a lot more. And if you don't have a lot of spin on it, it, it's going to really just take the Frisbee and, and throw it wherever it wants to. So spin, spin, spin is what you need to focus on there, Cameron. Uh, Nick, who do you want to win the Super Bowl? Oh, man. I don't know. Green Bay lost, so I don't even know. Who do you guys want to win the Super Bowl? I don't care. I just want a good game, to be honest. All the, all the teams that are left, now I don't have really any sort of emotional, emotional, like, I don't know, Whatever the I don't know what the word I'm trying to think is, but I don't really care who wins. I'm just looking for a good game, not like this past, not like this past college national championship. That was, I want I want scoring. Um, Blake, are you ever going to make EU pennies? Um, that's a possibility. That'd be cool, like a inside out type of thing. I don't know. That'd be kind of cool. Um, let me know if you guys would be interested in that. We're definitely I'm definitely looking at expanding the merchandise line that I have right now. Pretty much we only have everything ultimate gear. I want to try to get a couple of my jerseys up there for you guys that want to have a Brody Smith jersey. I want to get some other stuff up there, some different designs and stuff. So we're working with Break Mark on on trying to make that happen for you guys. Um uh, Michael, will you be putting out exercise videos? Um what Ultimate tips are coming up, and where can we make suggestions? Okay, suggestions, um, you can always make those on my Facebook or Twitter um, if you want to see something. Um, and I will be putting up exercise videos. Uh, I was planning on doing more of that, but I'm going to probably have to kind of change uh, the plan there. But, uh, yeah, I'll try to put up some exercise videos of some routines and stuff that I'm doing. Um, and then ultimate tips, I'm going to try to focus more on that. Like I said earlier, uh, I have a lot of stuff going on, um, personally that I'm trying to close up and I think I've done pretty much all that I can do there. So hopefully I can focus more on that stuff, getting more videos like that out for you guys. Are you going to play in the ADUL? And if yes, for who? Trying to figure that out as another thing. It's another thing on my list, Aaron. So hopefully as soon as I know, I'll let you know, man. So ask how old is ultimate Frisbee? Oh man, Ultimate Frisbee, I think it started like when? The six? No, no, no. It's only been like two. The first national championship was like in 1988 or something, I believe, if I'm, if that's right. Um, someone can put in the comments if, if that's not right. Um, 
Let's see, Andrew, my high school doesn't offer a Frisbee team. I'm looking to play in college. Any tips on looking for colleges that offer it? Pretty much every college I know, every big university offers Ultimate Frisbee. Um, they either offer it at an intramural level or they offer it actually at a competitive level. And if they don't and you want to go there, you can easily go to your whoever your uh, your club office is or whatever and, and sign up to and to sign up to make it a thing. Um, to make it a club sport. So that shouldn't be a problem there, Andrew. Joe, can I attempt a trick shot using a... I guess you're asking me if I can attempt a trick shot using a boomerang? Uh, yeah, I would have to learn how you throw a boomerang first. I don't really know how to throw a boomerang yet. But uh, yeah, I'm always I'm always interested in learning new stuff. So I can definitely look into that. Um, Sam, have you ever played Ultimate in the Snow? I have not. That would be fun to do. Besides the fact that I hate freezing cold stuff. But... You know, if it's ultimate frisbee and it's in the snow, I could I could man up, I guess. Uh, William asks, uh, my school in El Paso is looking for a tournament to play in, but most are college opens. Would they let a high school team enter? You have to email the tournament director, whoever's running the tournament, and just tell them your situation and see what they say. That's all you can do, William. So I wish you luck with that. Taryn asks, what workout should I do to increase the height of my jump and I want to increase the distance of my throw? How do I do that? Uh, I can put out some workouts that um, I'm going to start doing to increase my vertical and also um, to increase, like to strengthen your upper body to throw further, I can put out those workouts as well. Um, Leslie asks, am I going to be at the Siege of Limerick? Planning on it. Uh, I sent them an email. We're talking out right now. I'll know more about that later in the week. Uh, what kind of things do you recommend to become better at Ultimate, Mitchell asks. Uh, throwing, um, that's the easiest way of getting uh, good at ultimate is being able to throw and also being able to understand like the spacing on the frisbee field. The awareness of knowing where to cut uh, and what type of throws to throw people is huge. So um, throwing and awareness. Jason, any tips for, some, uh, for a small player consistently getting beaten in the air? Yes. I. This is a big, uh, this is something that a lot of people have asked me. So... Um, something I'm going to try to come out with a video showing ways to do uh, ways to be more competitive in the air if you uh, aren't the tallest person in the world. All right, I'm going to start going. This is kind of long, so I'm going to try to get through some of these here. Um, Hayden asks, "Have I ever made someone bleed from a frisbee throw?" Yes, my brother. Uh, he he thought. Uh, he was able to, this is one of my, not not Logan, not the guy that you see in some of my videos, one of my other brothers. He thought he could be able to, he could catch one of my Frisbees from like 30 yards or something away, 20 yards away. And so I winged it at him and it, it ricocheted off his hand and went straight into his nose and sliced his nose straight across. So that would be one person. Jeremy, do you play disc golf? It would help you beat your, it would help you beat yourself at golf. I don't play disc golf on the regular, but um, I definitely have played it before, and it's it's a fun sport to play. Um, Dylan asked, "What was my favorite moment in caught an ultimate?" It was winning the 2010 national championship. Um, Charles asked, "How important is youth youth ultimate?" Uh, it's very important. You know, you uh, I I try to do my best to try to get the, the information and stuff like that that I know how to. Uh, youth players because um, expanding the sport at that level is going to uh, get more and more people involved in playing it um, and also I, I think uh, you guys if you are a youth player Charles I think you guys are really great at uh, spreading the um, spreading the word via Facebook and Twitter and stuff and I know yes some other people you know older people and stuff use that stuff too but I just know, you know, in the high school and stuff like that, Facebook is huge right now. And so be I able to spread it and, and get it out there for with you guys, that's awesome. Luke, favorite place to play? Um favorite place to play. I I would say my favorite place to play actually was a turf field. I I mean I've played I, I don't know if you're saying actually like location. Um, you know, Vegas is fun to play, uh Colorado's fun because you can throw the frisbee really far. Um, but I'm going to say a turf field, um, because I just felt like you, you always got a good step and, uh, I don't know, it just, it was fun to play on. Um, are you planning on hosting any clinics for ultimate? 
Curtis, yes, I plan on hosting Plans for Ultimate. We're working on a site right now that we can get all that stuff up and out for you guys. Um, um, to do, to do. I'm going to answer two more questions. Garrett asks, do you use P90X? I do not. Um, I know some people that have done it, and they said it's really good. So, I mean, I don't. I can't tell you one way or the other because I actually haven't done it. Uh, Audrey Morgan Barnett, how do you get focused a minute before game time? To be honest, I kind of separate myself from the team and kind of have a little me time, I guess you can say. And I kind of just, uh, you know, I, I do a quick prayer um, and uh, I just start thinking about, you know, all the training I've done, all the preparation I've done, and 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 just the fact that, you know, all I can do is go out and try my hardest and put my best effort out there and whatever happens is meant to happen. So that's kind of what I do to get focused. Um, all right, last question because this is getting long. Colin Schwartz, have I ever made a shot on your first try? I have made several shots on my first try and I'll say the best one ever was the one in the stadium. You might have known the hammer throw. Um, I tried it the day before. I tried it about 70 times. Um, it got it started getting really, really windy inside the stadium, and uh, it's. I think I rimmed out like I think it hit the rim or something three or four times, and it started getting to the point where I would throw it and I would think it'd be perfect, and all of a sudden a gust of wind would come and it would just blow it away. Um, so I said, uh, you know, let's forget this. Let's try to come back tomorrow and do it again. And uh, filthy set up the camera, got got in position, and nailed it my first try. So. That was probably the best one I've hit my first try. All right, that's all I'm going to say to you guys. This is a long vlog, so um, look out for the vlog. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to say probably tomorrow. I'm going to think about it a lot tonight and tomorrow during the day and put it out for you guys. So uh, vlog tomorrow. I guess you can call it emotional vlog part two or number two. Um, but check out for, check out for that tomorrow. I posted a video on the Everything Ultimate channel tonight uh, with some GoPro footage of us just fooling around during a bye, uh, having some fun on the beach with the Frisbee, which is always fun to do. So check that out if you haven't. Um, and if this is your name right here, congratulations. You won an Everything Ultimate sticker. You might not be watching anymore because it's been 18 minutes. And if you asked the question or answered it, you probably stopped watching. But if that's you, send me an email. You want a sticker. And if you want to win a sticker, like and favorite this video and leave a comment for me. Um, again, thanks guys so much for everything. And I hope you all have a great night. Peace, man up.